there are already 180,000 people on the low fuel motorsport platform and if you're a bit late to the party don't worry i'm gonna help you with this license run that you need on low fuel motorsport we're gonna use the Aston martin that is the absolute best beginner car don't let anyone convince you otherwise because i'm also build a setup for you that you can use and this license run you will have in no time let's go so if you don't know me yet my name is arnaud i put like already 250 races on low fuel motorsport and uh so yeah this is my rating license safety rating so i think i'm qualified to explain you this so when you set up the account on low fuel motorsport you're gonna go into the multiplayer of a set of course competizione you're gonna type in low uh, fuel and then you're gonna search this one hangaro ring license run make sure you have plenty of time this is only 16 minutes i'm not sure if you can do it in 60 minutes but i believe uh, a little bit more time and then you can do like seven laps so make sure you have plenty of time yeah when you want to do the license run i will give you this setup lfm license run especially created for beginners i'm going to show you 40 liters maybe feels like a lot but if you invalidate the first lap you can keep going so 40 liters you could you could absolutely do it with 40 liters setup wise now if this that too aggressive setup so like oh it's it's like pointing too much just lower that right height a little bit you'll be fine so but uh, i will use 75 everything will be freaking sweet like this now it's going to be important this is not your track guide or whatever i'm just going to display a lap that you need to aim for and I'm also gonna take a relaxed approach because the lap time is actually really there. If you really feel like pushing it, uh, you're just braking too late or you're just forcing the car somehow. I'm gonna show a few, like, like an out lap and a whole lap to show you where the pain points are, where you're probably gonna lose a lot of time. So let's go. Respect the pit exit. Have a look in the mirrors where others are coming because you don't wanna screw up their license run. What I want you to focus on, especially when you're practicing, is don't worry so much about breaking points or whatever. Just be early and make sure you're driving these lines. You want to be here on the inside, you want to keep it here on the inside. And then you want to be here all the way on the outside. And then you want to open up yourself full throttle to take all that speed up onto the straights. Again, follow these lines and also try to use the brakes for steering instead of forcing the steering wheel all the time keep the inside line we're gonna drive like a 48 and a half we're gonna try that i'm also trying to push this uh, right and this left wheel on these curbs so we can nicely cut these curbs also here keep those lines those ones are the most important and then the proper braking points and throttle inputs will eventually come again apexes you want to hit and sometimes it can really help to steer into the corner a bit earlier than you feel and then you can actually hit that apex because apex are golden mate those ones you want to hit now here we have this corner over here, full of throttle, you got that guy in that box that will be a braking marker somehow to get into this corner. I will also tell you again, keep the inside and then you can open up the throttle. Don't go super wide because if you don't invalidate the lap, you need to start over. So, this will be the first lap. I'm gonna brake way in front of that 100 meter sign, being like playing on that brake pedal a little bit. Here you can take actually exit the corner a bit. I'll throttle here again on front of this entry curb. I'm braking, I'm using a little bit of brake power to rotate the car, get some weight on this front axle, and fully on the throttle. The setup allows it. It's super safe. It's super forgiving. So again over here as well, third gear. 
and then over here try to get that inside line here and you can carry all this speed up to this chicane again you want to hit that like that box on the curb and then it's gonna be really freaking sweet over here as well again breaking a little bit you can see you also need to have some patience in these corners before you go on throttle because else you will overshoot it coasting a little bit and now over here this uh, last sector again in front of this entry curb it's actually a really nice safe setup and you can take this setup also to a lot of different tracks so let's say if you got the license you can take this car setup to a lot of tracks on uh, as it course a competition now let's see what kind of lap time we did so this is already really fast yeah so know that with a pretty relaxed approach you can actually do this you need to get like a 49 lap time blank yeah that's like what you're aiming for now i know what you're thinking yeah you want to lap in a 296 as well let's go you see all these setups they're like different levels for different skill levels we have downforce high and low downforce and we have a mid preset now this track is kind of a little bit of a high downforce and for the license run i would pick like a level 2 downforce setting because you already have your safety rating up to 80 and so let's load this up and by the way if you want this pack it is in the patron store i have this for the Aston martin and i have this for the um mclaren and also those so here the ferrari i will show this level two setup it is based on safety and like these levels are let's allows you to progress so they uh, setups get more aggressive there's more lap time but let's say a level three setup isn't like slow you can really be quick in those setups anyways i'm going to show you in this um car as well to get that lap time yeah so uh i'm only need to put like 40 liters here okay let's get this lap also for the ferrari gonna target a little bit of that same lap time make sure you have some more tire pressures uh in your car when you're doing the license run this one is a little bit of a low side this ferrari also this level two setup super forgiving so also this trail braking needs to occur again we're gonna keep that inside line open ourselves up now the ferrari is a little bit more unforgiving on curbs but uh, if you're not really crazy on throttle or braking inputs when you're going over the curbs, you should be fine. Over here as well, keep that inside line. Second gear. Try to stay off the curbs. What I did there was actually a little bit dangerous. Again, we want to aim for that box on the curb. You can see it's a little bit more awkward on curbs. Using the brakes, being patient on throttle. And again, uh, this is not your meta power alien uh, lap time. And also, I don't want to look like a track guide or anything. I just want to show the lines that I would use to drive it. And uh, also want to show you, you don't have to be super insane to get this uh, license run again you wanna coast and lose a little bit of the brakes to get into this corner this car is also super good with its traction control now this was 47 this is already on a quick side yeah so you you have still like two seconds of margins just know that the lap time is also in this setup and uh yeah keep the inside be patient with your inputs Use the brake to rotate the car. Be patient on the throttle. Get these tires in the proper window, like 26.7 PSI, 0.8, whatever. And uh, I wish you good luck. And let me know in the comments if you did, did it with this Ferrari or you did it with the Aston Martin. 
and uh yeah if you leave that like on the video that would really be appreciated so uh good luck with the license run and uh see you in the split one lobbies yeah in a few months